All right, we're talking fashion style. Is SI or SE really about aesthetics? I've heard this argument brought up a lot, and it's kind of fucking annoying to me. It's really not about any one particular element. It's you got to take in the whole type. When I bounce around and you look at some of these images, can you really tell exactly who has SE valuing and high SE, who has SI valuing? It's like, ask yourself that question. Can you tell if they're even an SI type at all? If they're even a sensor? Are they a sensor? How the fuck do we know? What are we looking at? What makes the difference for you? All right. And I'm sure some of you are like, bro, what's up with this collection of chicks you got going on here? Let's face it, women are more likely, most likely to be fashionable, far more so than men. So it's a hell of a lot easier to make this example by showing women. And if you're sitting here like, bro, you have a lot of hot chicks on there. It's like, yeah, I'm fortunate to know a lot of really attractive fucking people. Ooh, who for me, huh? So what are we looking for? What's the differences here? To me, to me, if you're a high sensor, it's in the ego stack, some kind, whether it's SE or SI, you're probably more likely to consistently be good at fashion, to care about it, to care about what you're wearing, how you're dressed, what you look like, right? All these kinds of things matter. When you're probably an intuitive type, you're probably less likely to care. And that goes double, of course, if you're male. What you really want to pay attention to is what is your what is your sense of style? Why are you wearing what you're wearing? What the fuck is the point of that? What are you doing with it? Dale. Saud. Right. What are you really doing with it? What? Why do you wear and choose to wear what you're wearing? What's the motivation behind it, right? This is kind of what's really important. Now, we do find certain patterns that make sense. You do have usually, let's call it introverted types, don't want to stand out as much. And usually your extroverted types are more comfortable standing out. Hold on, here we go. Hey, uh-huh. All right. Extroverted types, usually okay. Introverted types, not so much. But is that always true? No, not really. You will have some introverted types that don't mind being pretty out there with some of the shit they're wearing. Now, all these people, first off, that I'm bouncing around from here. These are all real fucking people. These are all people I know personally and so on. So for those people who are like, well, you can't tell with celebrities. You don't know what they are. You don't know if they have a fashion designer involved or whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Whatever. Fuck you. This are all people I know personally. And I've known them for a very long time. So I have a pretty damn good idea what their sense of style, or I'm sorry, who they are <laughs> is as a type. All right, all this kind of stuff. What are you wearing? Yeah. Now, there are some patterns, as I was saying. Generally speaking, a lot of your alpha SFs, for example, are types that usually don't want to stand out as much. They kind of want to fit in a bit more. So a lot of times that's dressing good enough to fit in, but not so much that you're going to clearly stand out from everybody else. Okay, that's... SEI especially, ESE, mm, depends. ESE might be wearing something a little more exciting just to gain attention. So, if I were to go here, like, fuck are their types? Well, knowing all three of them pretty damn well, I have two here that are probably ESEs, pretty sure, especially this one on the left, and then SEI over here on the right. And you're like, well, if you wear that, you're really going to fucking stand out. But it fits in with the with the holidays, right? Halloween, people wearing funny stuff, people wearing all kinds of weird shit. 
it seems a little more appropriate and you're going kind of as a group. You're not the only one, right? SEIs more likely to do things like that. SLEs or some of the beta types, SLEs, EIEs, they're more likely to be very comfortable wearing something totally out there, really fucking stands out, really different. Here's another one, almost guarantees she's an SLE. Yeah, does she really strike you as an SI type? Yeah. And for those morons who are like, oh, well, SI is about your body and keeping track of your body and being healthy and all that. So, yeah, bodybuilders and shit are fucking SI. No. Do you have any idea how much effort, intensity, fucking hard work goes into being in the gym to pump up to get that big? Do you have any idea how uncomfortable that is? And the dieting and everything else. No, you have to have a lot of willpower, a lot of drive. And when you ask some of these people, like in this person's case, is one of those people that just can't get out of the fucking gym. More prone to overworking. They like the intensity. Push more, more reps, more sets. That's typical, right? It's intensity. More of the SE shit. Let's see. Boom. All right. Right. Usually SEI on the far left, another SEI on the far right, LSE here in red. And you've seen her before, IEE, actually over here. Tasteful, elegant, everybody fits in, looks nice. Nobody wants to stand out too much. Ironically, the one person standing out the most is fucking me because I'm wearing something totally unique that nobody is fucking wearing and I'm going to stand out a mile away. Fuck COVID for ruining these fucking photos, all these stupid masks and shit. But this is common for many high SI types. They can dress very tastefully, very elegantly, but maybe don't want to do it in such a way where they're totally standing out from everyone else in the room. That might feel awkward to them. It might make them feel like they're making other people feel uncomfortable. This is where the ethics comes in. It's very important when it comes to sense of style. How are you making other people feel with what you're wearing? Do you even care? Right? Dolly. Do you even care how you make other people feel with what you're wearing? If you're a FE valuing person, it might be important that you're making an impact of some sort. What kind of impact, though? Are you making people feel uncomfortable? Are you making them feel comfortable with what you're wearing? Are you blending in or are you standing out? Are you wearing something that's really different? Is that your intention? Do you want to do that? Something an EIE might do. I really want to stand out. NFs in general are the ones that are more inconsistent. They can dress really nicely sometimes, but then they can wear some kind of like unusual shit that they like because they have some interest in or personal connection to, you know, like you're going to have the IEI wearing the funny Spider-Man comic book looking sort of dress outfit. <laughs> it's kind of unusual, right? Usually more of your like alpha sensorics, for example, wear something more tasteful, blends right in. It's not meant to really be all that unusual from everybody else. Now, on the downside, it can make alpha SF types kind of seem sheepish. Would be a criticism that they might get. They dress very tastefully, very nicely, but it's not very original or unusual in any kind of way. It just looks like everybody else. Case in point. Uh-oh. Right. You probably take a wild guess what type you think she fucking is. You're probably right. But now you're going to get into, you know, again, IEEs can often just be into weird stuff that they like it. They want to wear for their own reasons. It's not really important whether other people think it's great or not. They're not as concerned how they're making other people feel. 
why they're blending in as much. They're more concerned with their own sense of interest and style and what they want to express. So you'll see this kind of stuff a lot more with your NF types, EIEs, IEEs, even EIIs may do this a lot more. You'll probably see less of this kind of unusual shit with, um, what do you call it? My uh, IEIs. Why? IEIs tend to value the FE more. They tend to want to blend in a bit more. They don't want something that's going to make them stand out quite so much, usually, okay? Unless it's for a deliberate reason. You know, they want to do a music video. They want to do something artistic and so on. And so they deliberately want to look a certain way for that moment, right? But otherwise, they prefer to kind of blend in more, right? So what's important with all this shit? The important part is you got to understand the motivation of the entire type. It's not about one particular element. Doesn't really matter. It's really about it's really about what is the overall motivation. Let's get that. Yeah, oh, it looks a little grainy, but oh well, right? Hey. Right. It's about the overall type. What are they trying to do? What do they want to look like? Do they want to stand out? Are they comfortable standing out? Do they not? How comfortable is it that they're, what they're wearing not comfortable? Can intuitive types do nicely dressed, fancy, provocative stuff? Yep. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Again, I've got a mix of people in here. I've known them all a very long time. And some of these people, you might think, oh, that's an NF. Oh, that's an NT. Oh, that's an SF. And, and I bet you'd probably be wrong on some of You really got to figure out what it is that they're about. And there's no other way to do that but to ask them or to consistently be around them so fucking long that you kind of see why. Why are they doing what they're doing? What's the motivation there? On the celebrity side of things, just to add a little more flavor. All right, Somebody like this, Bretman Rock, love this fucking guy. <laughs> Right. You could say EIE. You could say SEE. Personally, I'm kind of leaning more towards SEE. Here's somebody who's made his entire career really about style, being provocative, wearing his own thing, doing his own thing. Doesn't really harp too much about how other people might feel or if other people are going to be uncomfortable by it or not like it or whether he fits in. It's like, I, yeah, I don't really care. I'm doing my own avant-garde shit. Is it SI? Is it SE? What's he using? What's he rocking? What's it really? Is it one particular element? No. It's a whole type. It's the whole type you got to keep in mind. Jordan Peterson's a funny one. More recently, he's been wearing a lot of weird shit. Like, I've seen him with a lot of this, this two-tone suits and stuff. He had some other thing that looked like it had uh, some biblical scripture shit he'd been wearing on it recently. What's interesting with a guy like him, if you see a lot of his early videos on YouTube, you see him dress like the, like the old fashioned fuddy duddy. Look at this. Look like, what is up with this? Okay. He was dressed in cardigans and very drab stuff like this. It was very, you know, very tasteful, not really all that outlandish. And more recently, you've seen him really start to push for these very funky out. Oh, here we go. Is that the one I want? Yes, it is. Y'all hopefully can see that, that there's literally all this biblical Christian saints and angels and all this kind of stuff on here. He's doing a more and more and more of this stuff more recently. Very weird shit. Now, to me, I think he's an LIE. He's not an EIE, not in my point of view. I think there's plenty of evidence to see how much he values TE. Either way, you're looking at an intuitive. And like a lot of the intuitives, especially more NT types, they can wear a lot of really just funky offbeat stuff like this. 
it's it stands out and gets some kind of attention it it's a, some kind of style really, but it can be kind of hit and miss. It's a little weird. It doesn't always fit very appropriately with the situation. So it, it's just, it's odd. It's odd. and almost seems like you need to discuss the outfit to figure out why are you wearing that? Like, what's the deal with that? What's this shit all about? I don't quite, I don't know. You're more likely to see that with a lot of the intuitive types wearing funky outfits that kind of a weird mix and match of stuff and you're not really sure why they're wearing it exactly you almost need to discuss it like uh okay sure right you know again if we get into these kinds of things you're like what's with the feathers and then there's like different color hair and there's like all sorts of weird stuff and you're just like why this weird mix and match um i don't know what's up with that What's with the, I don't know, the boots and this, it's just kind of odd. And you just feel the need to sort of start poking at why are you wearing this sort of weird shit? Right? That's more common with your intuitive types that really try. It doesn't mean an intuitive type can't be very fashionable, get it right and get it perfect and just look amazing. They can just, you know, yeah. but that's kind of different from when you're looking at types that are probably like high SI types, like an SEI, they have a more conventional style. Everything looks good. It's all put together very well. Everything blends well, but it's nothing unusual that really goes, what is going on with that? Why would somebody choose to wear that? Like, where did that come from? Like, no. You know, it's like, yeah, everything looks nice fits everything's very but it's just it's kind of conventional there's nothing that really jumps out at you it makes you go what the hell is happening right now even again types that are not necessarily si maybe sles you're like uh-huh and maybe some sles and se types don't mind raising the intensity a little bit wearing something perhaps a little more provocative showing off some stuff but still very tasteful. Everything is put together nicely, flows well. There's nothing that you're going, wow, that's that's some quirky, weird thing that you've got going on there. Not usually. That's not the way it normally goes. Let's see, what else? No. Yeah, and again. And again, you have some just elegant. Everything works well. So anyhow, my point that I really wanted to drive home with all this is really just when it comes to aesthetics, what is aesthetics? Is it really S-I? Is it S-E? Is it... Uh, no, look, in general, sensors are more consistently fashionable. They're consistently better at this shit. Intuitive types are usually less consistent about this and maybe more likely to not really care as much to be that person. So sort of all over the fucking place. Right. Um, women, of course, more interested generally than men are. Duh. Some of the stuff that's fun to watch. Um, you know, an interesting thing about this, you'll look at. Sometimes some people like Jack will get criticism like, oh, you're not an ILE, you're, I don't know what the fuck, though. people say all sorts of weird shit. You look like an LSE. In fact, some people say that when it comes to Jack. Um, I encourage you to also go look at Jack's sense of fashion, particularly go check out some of his videos when he was kind of just getting started, let's call it. All the videos of him like eight years ago and seven years ago and six years, and look at a lot of the weird, quirky shit that he was wearing all the time, the top hats, the weird yellow flowers, and just like a weird mishmash of stuff. And he would even admit sometimes it's just like, oh, I just, I grab some stuff and I just find it weird and typical of intuitives. Things just don't seem to flow and fit right. And it's kind of weird, but as they get older and depending on what jobs and careers they go into, they may realize the value of putting a more put together elegant look. 
Maybe they have the influence of an SEI spouse and they start putting things together better and it starts kind of becoming more neat and tidy and organized. Uh, maybe some people just go into a profession that requires it. Right? If you're in law, if you're in some businesses that are very corporate, you got to get used to this, wearing a certain suit, suit and tie look and so on. Maybe you're in a very competitive image conscious corporate law, like the show Suits. Where in there, it's not just about wearing a suit. It's about wearing a suit that is like bling, that really pops and stands out. And if you're not wearing that, people are going to criticize and look down on you for it, right? So culture will also matter a lot in the way people will dress and why. So bottom line, um, sensors, usually better with aesthetics, fashion, taking care of their looks, their physical appearance, their haircut, their style of, uh, of dress, the, their skin routine, they, are they muscular and so on? Do they care? Usually it's going to be sensors, more so than intuitives. But be careful because you can run into intuitives who have built up those sensory sides, who have learned to get good at that stuff. And now they too look a little more bulked up and muscular and so on, or they're dressing a certain way. Or like Peterson, they start off looking kind of boring and plain fuddy-duddy looking and then all of a sudden now they're wearing a lot of very unusual uh, outfits that get your attention right um there's a lot of those things to look at and being aware of the timeline did they start off interested in these things fashion and so on have they always been that way or did they not care about that kind of stuff very much and then they became more that way with time you gotta always factor these kinds of things in so anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough on that kind of stuff. Just wanted to jump on that whole SI is aesthetics and fashion. And no, it's SE, other people would say. Like, eh, no, you're simplifying too much. You're throwing it into one element. Sensory is important in general, a sensor period, right? But then also, are they FI or are they FE? What are the general values of that type? What are the general values overall of that quadra? Do, are they the sort of quadra or type that wants to stand out, be provocative, get people's attention, make impact? Or are they particularly uh, a type that doesn't like to stand out, doesn't want to stand out, just kind of wants to dress just enough, but just to blend in, right? These things matter. These things matter. That full picture is what matters. But I will leave your comments, uh, questions, thoughts, whatever on there. And see you next time. Please like, subscribe, share the works. As you can see, my overwhelming enthusiasm. <laughs>